So, dear Dhamma friends, we're going to start our session today. And, we, and be comfortable yourself and relax your body. And gently close your eyes and focus your mind to this bell sound. So, while you're focusing to the sound, mentally relax your body, relax your mind, relax your breathing. And let everything to settle down itself. Just follow the song, please. नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् Homage to the blessed one, the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So dear Dhamma friends and Dhamma practitioners, please keep relax your body and do your right palm on your left and neck head straight in one line. And be comfortable with your posture and gently close your eyes and focus your mind to your body. And observe head to toes three times and say Sopateva or may I be well and happy. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment, with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also, think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation exhalation so in the beginning mentally relax your body step by step followed by my words relax your head relax your forehead relax your eyebrows Relax your eyes. Relax your ears. Relax your nose. Relax your upper lip. Relax your lower lip. Relax your chin. Relax your whole face muscles. Relax your 
relax your teeth, relax your tongue, relax your mouth, relax your throat, relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms, elbow, forearms, palms, fingers, fingertips. Relax your all back muscles and relax your spine. Relax your chest and relax your abdominal muscles. Relax your lungs. Relax your heart. Relax your liver. Relax your kidneys. Relax your gallbladder. Relax your pancreas. Relax your small intestine. and relax your large intestine. Relax your all abdominal organs. And relax your butter. Relax your thigh. Relax your knee. Relax your calf muscles. Relax your foot and relax your toes. Relax your whole body muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, bone marrows, and whole skeleton. Release the tension in your mind and keep relax your face muscles. And now bring your attention to the lower part of your body. And observe and see if there are any sensation, heaviness, tightness, heat. Just observe. So don't interfere with it. Don't change anything. Just observe and recognize. and bring your attention to your lower back area. And observe and see if there any sensation, any feeling, tightness, heaviness.
and bring your attention to your upper back and shoulders. And observe the, your chest and abdominal area. And your neck and head. And observe and see your whole body as one. And slowly find the one place wherever all over your body just recognize one place that you can feel any sensation, heaviness, tightness and observe it deeply without reacting, changing, comment, judging. Just participate with the sensation or the feeling. Don't separate. Be part of it and but observe deeply. Now bring attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. And deeply and gently breathing, breathe out and find the sensation in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Breathing, breathe out three times, please. And observe the sensation of inhalation, exhalation and allow it to happen naturally. And recognize this is inhalation, this is exhalation. And later, this is the beginning, middle and the end. Observe entire process of the inhalation, exhalation. Also, you may experience some inhalation, exhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft. Just accept it. And from there, and try to see the impermanent, unsatisfactory nature and selflessness within the sensation of inhalation, exhalation.
If your mind go here and there, don't worry about it. Just keep focused to the sensation. See the impermanent, unsatisfactory nature and selflessness. Everything, the inhalation, exhalation, or any sensation arise in your body.
bring the awareness to your body and observe your posture We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also, as far as you can, through galaxies, other planets, stars, reminding yourself like this, mentally repeat after me with clear intention. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible. near or far away. Already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside. To your left side. and to your right side. Downward. And upward. to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, 
without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of your heart with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, dear Dhamma practitioners, few hundred years back, there was no kind of subject called meditation. It's mostly because people had the capacity to to understand their sensory object and sensory experience and they able to maintain their life and they able to to see and understand and go through the consequences regarding the the situations in day-to-day -day life but by the time what happened, we able to become more material and through this material comfort, we mostly start to, to develop the comfort, but at the same time, even though we had that comfort, we a became lack of understanding or we lose the awareness. Remember the word called awareness. Later we're going to discuss about it. But we have to understand what happened on the, on the way, what happened to the awareness. Because we lost in the comfort. If, if anybody, you can, you can lots, lost them when you give them too much comfort, people lost their mind. That's why sometimes when they want to get something done from uh, some other people, sometimes from your friends, from someone, so maybe you invite for dinner, you take for lunch, and you make them comfortable. So when they comfort, in, in, in the comfort zone, what happening, they lost their awareness. It happened to entire humanity. But with this pandemic situation, people able to little bit, uh, you know, start to look. And the mostly we used to see the luck as a luxurious life with the material and comfort and uh, the branded names. So people thought that when you walk into very expensive shopping mall or the luxurious, very branded mall or the shops. And when you have very, you know, very expensive or the branded bags, handbags, shoes, clothes, people thought it is a luxurious life. But now we understand the breathing is more luxurious than anything else. Life is more luxurious than anything else. Even the without a mask, seeing a face, face to face, just seeing a person, 
you know during this time period then even that i was i was uh thought about you know see nowadays it is very difficult to see a person you know naturally and as you know we had the ceremony and everybody wearing a mask and i was wondering you know this uh, see what we missing and uh, you know seeing a real face naturally is a very luxurious now and uh, even in as a family when you gather each other it's luxurious and uh, hugging a person you know hand shaking is luxurious you know so it's kind of like we completely come to a different dimension and we, we come to a different level of understanding now what is what is we missing and and why we miss that all and also how we lost these things we had this all but we didn't uh, see that much value because of the the material comfort so you cannot blame to that but the thing is the most important thing is on the way with this material comfort as i mentioned we lost our awareness and that awareness is mostly regarding not the outside world because when you look at the world people able to conquer the universe even we able to go beyond the beyond our solar system and people dreaming and planning to go to other pla planets and live there so then that, that's mean we we develop kind of like awareness but the thing is what we losing we losing self awareness so this self awareness is the most as a most important part that the buddha himself declared so as you know the the the, the when it come to conventional life that we had the history it's called you know the golden rush why it called golden rush people wherever the gold people able to rush go towards that way you know during buddha's time there was a the rush you know that the awareness rush that wherever the awareness wherever the buddha everybody used to go towards that and with this pandemic situation again what happened people kind of like a way start to rush towards the awareness now everybody start to look into it so then it is very important for us to go little bit to see the deeper and see that uh, what is this and how this happen and what is this awareness from where it come where it take us why people so fascinated about it why people like it and why people so comfort with the the awareness and it is within ourselves but we cannot find it sometimes and but everybody talk about the awareness 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 so when it come to life that uh, this aware the the what the self first we have to understand what is self the self is the matter has power to reproduct itself call self remember that the matter has power to reproduct itself is called self it is a one interpretation in even in the scientifically also it's accepted another thing is that the matter has reproduct itself or duplicate itself that duplication power of duplication detachment coming from it's like a it's like a 
So one become two. This transformation to happen, this transformation, it need a kind of like energy. That energy called mind. So then, so whatever transform to duplicate, it doesn't become self. So there is a certain kind of cell. There is a certain kind of energy has power itself independently has power to duplicate itself, the matter. And to duplicate that matter, it has a current create inside it. It has its own awareness. That's called self-awareness. So when the mind and the matter come together, it create energy inside it to duplicate itself called self. My, the matter has power to duplicate itself. That duplicate power, the, the separation power is, is the, the mind. So when these two things come together, mind and matter, and this duplicate it, uh, reproduct itself or that uh, develop one thing to two, this mind and matter develop one thing to two, break down one thing to two, is called self. This nature, this pattern, the mind and matter duplicate and the reproduct itself and separate and rebuild itself. And when this go again and again, again and again, again and again, it called culture. So only the human can develop this kind of culture. No any other animals can do it. No, uh, that the kind of like a other self. So when it come to the human being, they are the one who can develop it and reproduct it and develop it, reproduct it in a kind of like a becoming advanced not other animals. That's why the human life is so important. Remember that. That's why the you have to be a human to attain to enlightenment because that reproductive process can uplift your awareness or the, the, the development of the process itself make you a better person or the advanced person. When you look at the human history, generations to generations, generations to generation become completely different and become advanced. No any other animal behave like that way. As example, chicken. If the chickens became more advanced generations to generations, generations to generations, by now in this planet, no any human beings. Why? Because then they come against and destroy all the human beings. Look at for a day, how many chickens die, killed by human? And how about the cows? If the cows generations to generation become advanced, and there today you and me know, know in this planet, but only the human being this cell has the special power. No any other, other cell can do that. What is that? When it reproduct, when it duplicate, it become advanced. So in the, that's why it, we call the mental culture because moment by moment, thought by thought, it can develop your mind. So, when it come to the self, the very nature of the self with the mind and matter, it has power to duplicate. And other thing is, it has a special power when it duplicate, the, the, when it separate from the first one. What is that? It has power 
to recognize something itself in that very moment. So that is a, it's a, it's like this. So as example, there is a there is a train come. So newly born, well conscious person. That means complete that human being just keep in in the middle of the the railway track. So the train come now. It's a huge piece of you no know, iron, you know, tons, ton, thousand, thousand tons heavy. I, so, this human being you just place on the 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 human cell, you place on the the middle of the railway track. By seeing if the if the human being able to recognize the the train, see the train. That means if his eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind work properly. And without disturbing from the past or the future, and that means he is in the present moment. If the human being able to be in the present moment without knowing anything about the train, or without any guidelines, or without hmm, listening to anybody, by seeing the train. This human being can understand if it, if that train hit it that the human being going to die. That is called self awareness because it happened in that very moment. It not coming that mostly we think oh we we have to learn. That is the very wrong understanding when it come to this subject. We always think, oh, we have to learn. We have to learn. We have to, we have to get it from somebody. No, there is something in you. Before you learn that, there is something. Even you learn, how are you going to recognize it as something? If there is nothing in you. So, the tapping to that what is inside you. Is the art of practice of the meditation, but what is inside you called self awareness. Even it has even in a one cell, that see look at in this human body how many cells. Even if you separate this one cell, that one cell has a kind of like a something independently can react. So it like this. When you put a drop of water in the middle of the jungle, that drop of water has power, energy to find out through the gravity and where the ocean. It has power to find out. No any irrigation, no no any map or the guidelines to to tell go this way. So same like in your body. The each and every cell has a power to independently recognize. That is what called self awareness. Cell independently can react, select and react, and that is where it comes self awareness. So, as example, when it come to the beginning of life, see how the sperm. Can enter to the mother's womb. One cell. See that, as you know, there is a documentary called the "Sperm Race." So, trillion, million, million cells independently run, and not only running. It is very interesting. It is kind of like a huge war, pushing each other, you know, and somebody and give up. And somebody get mad, and somebody becoming so strong, energized, and try to find a way, throwing others at them. So, how that one cell? So, like that, you have a, in the beginning of life also you have independently stand and select yourself. So that is the beginning of the self awareness. Each and every cell has a freedom and power to independently react. 
and not only react it has power to reasoning judging question and also communicate that is the the second breakthrough so the, so the first breakthrough that it has power to stand itself take decisions itself and the second one is it has power to communicate so that's why when one cell so remember that in the beginning i mentioned the mind matter when the mind and matter come together it is start to duplicate separate reproduce become two two become four four become eight so like that and then not only that it has power to communicate so then each and every cell even the trillion trillion cells in you it has power to communicate each other so that when this entire communication network come to a one decision that is what called self awareness so as example 1 2 3 4 5 people just imagine five cells here so if the one cell start to look this way if the one cell start to look this way if the one cell start to look down if the one cell start to look another so this five cells start to look different different ways and then what will happen it still it exists but it doesn't have create any kind of power to to become one so how about this all five start to communicate each other and focus to one thing and that is what call the self awareness so when you when your entire system focus to one thing communicate each other focus to one thing and stay in that one thing is called samadhi settle down why because nothing from nothing go anywhere nothing get disturbed no no communication in any other way and it start to settle down with one thing it 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 settle down with one thing not because of the command from outside not because of the command or the the behavior of something else why because it has a power to communicate each other itself so that is how the self awareness develop and the thing is this when you develop this self awareness how you can recognize what is the power come out of the self awareness so the self when you have the self awareness no fear you are become totally free free the the freedom is the the sign for the self awareness freedom so when you are not free that's mean when you are not self aware you are not free when you are not free there is fear so there is a there is a way like a, a, if the monk attain to enlightenment or not how sometimes they find if the monk or the person not afraid for anything no not afraid for anything sometimes they guess you know are you enlightened so that's mean when you are become totally free there is no fear but if there is fear that mean you are not aware and you are not free so the mostly the all other the living beings has four qualities that hold it to ahara nidra bhaya mind ahara means food the food circle all you depending from from food and the nidra means the rest or the sleep bhaya means the fear 
and by maithunancha means reproduct itself happening reproduct it is not a kind of like a, you know you you consciously involving and doing it no itself happening even it happened to human also you know there are some people you know in dreams they reproduce why because it is in in system so that's why when you when you try to to go towards the enlightenment you don't go that way you cut down the food and uh, you you mostly cut down the the sleeping pattern and it called jagra yoga you cut down the sleeping patterns and the fear and it, it slow because when the clarity come there is no fear and the reproducting you you not involved with that so why because this poor things poor qualities it's always reduce the that the the self awareness it it always block the self awareness or the freedom it block the freedom so look at the food even the the government overnight can change when it come to to food so it is that much powerful so it, it like like that we are bound to that that's why when you become sannyasi the one of the main quality they don't care about the food so whatever they go they whatever they receive or whatever they find on the way they just depending on from uh, from that but how about the people one meal miss it kind of like for some people it kind of like end of the world you know they they become so crazy if one if one meal miss even you somebody you know prepare your you a uh, plate and means maybe suddenly somebody else eat half of that and you get so mad about it so like that so somehow that we bound to that and the, the there is a deeper science science is not a one subject it belong to this uh, you know or psychology or the the medicine or technology no science is uh, the way you study about the wisdom called science so it actually the word coming from the wisdom the sanskrit word vidya so the the wisdom or the vidya is became with wisdom and it's it's called the science so the vidya another way it became vidya vidyo video so now we call video the video also came out of the word called wisdom why because it it giving you the the science science means the the truth that is the the very simple definition of the the science the the art of the truth so the video means the itself the the vidya that's mean we wisdom it should bring you kind of like a wisdom but today look what happened it is completely opposite side but somehow so the what is happening we have inner wisdom inner science what is that inner science that inner science means if you able to communicate within yourself without getting disturbed from outside that is the moment you fulfill your self awareness so when you completely become independent in the moment without even from the past or the future or even the knowledge exists from outside and you are become independent in the moment in that moment you become free 
that is what people looking for because we are not not experiencing that deeply ourselves why because we don't develop it inside we always depending from things outside or the with the material and sometimes even you have no time even we have 24 hours you have for a day you have no time even one single second yourself to be like that that's why in the beginning it called be silence find a way to find be silence when you become silence that is the very first step it's kind of like a, you detach you 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 disconnect from other things and you allow to to communicate happen within yourself and then come to a one point and when you are come to a one point as i mentioned that entire yourself so what is happening is start to to focus to one thing communicating each other so that way that communication not going to go here and there or past or the future so when you come to a one point of that awareness you completely become free when you become free totally free in that very moment you totally become out of the fear you become out of the fear when you come out of the fear there is no doubt there is no hatred there is no anger there is no jealousy it's nothing that is where you become completely purified so when the the when you are completely become purified in that very moment you have ability you have capability you have strength to go beyond the sense and that is the the enlightenment science go beyond the sense so when you you can get it only by getting connect to entire all the cells together into one communication network if in case if one cell imagine forget about trillion trillion cells just imagine 100 cells you have in your body all the 99 cells and start to focus to one thing but if one cell start to go away you cannot attain to enlightenment it not going to happen you're not going to complete that awareness why because the one cell mean it is a kind of like it has power to create a hundred hundreds lives it is so powerful one cell see even this uh, you know the virus it's uh, it can one can come and kill a person and it has power to reproduce so how about when it come to mind and matter they both has in this one cell so if you are if you all the hundred cells come together and stay in focus and have the communication to one thing the what is happening it has power to go beyond the 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 senses when you have ability to go beyond the senses that is where your transformation happens and if that is you cannot you cannot uh, understand by words and that that is you have to experience that's why self awareness you have to take it to the self experience to have the self transformation so that transformation we call the nibbana but the thing is because of the comfort and we lost that communication even within ourselves so then it is your responsibility no matter what keep that communication within you why i i give you a secret because when you have that the communication within yourself without any sign without any 
indication without any information you can survive by yourself at least in conventional life without anybody's knowledge you can survive in the ancient time people had that knowledge even but we after mostly after the world war we lost that also that's why as a subject now we practice meditation so now you see we lost and because of the many many reasons we lost that our ability even to maintain our life without books and how much we lost that even the mothers now need to read books to how to take care children see is even the mothers even the parents need advice to to how to take care children that much we lost our self aware forget about enlightenment so then still remember it is inside you so we we just get lost from this outside with the outside world but by practicing like this way or giving your time a little bit and with the understanding and you can get back to that it is possible so give a try it is a, as a human being it is a beautiful journey that you can experience and you can share and uh, that experience if you able to get as a human being before you die that is the highest experience that you can gain and from that moment you will fulfill this journey of humanity so with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbhityo vajjantu sabbarogo vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo sukiti gayuko bhav ittavata cha me hi sampadam punya sampadam sambhe deva anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sambhe bhuta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sambhe satta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya idam me punya kammanga savakaya vaho tu सब दुखा पमुचतू